right, all you Street Life Crusaders and infomercial watchers out there tonight, welcome back to the Tuesday Night Special. And uh, apparently, according to what the maestro told me, the money for the replacement sign is coming out of his pocket. I don't understand why the disco dancing fool over there should be the one paying for it after he took the summer budget last week. And speak of the devil making his way up the stairs with a suit that looks like something out of a Peter Gabriel music video. None other than Dan the Wonder Man still here to deliver the fight they want to forecast for this week. Dan the Wonder Man still, the floor is all yours and the fact that that coat now looks like it's a whole bunch of clouds moving leftwards. Even if that's not a word, I don't care. The microphone is all you. You know what, whatever. Get on the mic and just deliver the weather. And where is the money from the summer budget? Uh, hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world, it's your boy from Chicago, Illinois. That's what a man's do here to begin his flight. They would have forecast for this week. <laughs> and the money for the summer budget is back in the sea. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean it's back in the safe? What are you, Harry Houdini? There was no money in there when I checked it last week. Well, DJ Smokey, check it again. All right, I'm going to check the inside of that vault. If there's no money in there, I swear you're going to be carried out of here instead of walking. Hold on. My show open the safe. See, look, no money. Pull back that paper. Are you kidding me? Was that all an optical illusion? There is some money for the summer budget. That's what you meant by April Fool's. I'm going to hurt you later. I really am. But before I do, and before we go any further wasting moonlight on this little rigmarole we're going back and forth with, just do the weather. Are you serious? Especially with that Sam G. Freaking Peter Gabriel suit that's turning into clouds now? What is it about the rain? Do the weather. All right. <laughs> So for tonight, that's right, Tuesday night, it's going to be a low of 49 degrees, showers all around at 60%, with winds going southwest at 2 miles per hour. And on Wednesday, here comes more rain, because it's going to be a high of 67, low of 45, Showers all around at 50% with winds going north, northwest at 6 miles per hour. And on Thursday, more rain now with wind. Cause it's gonna be a high of 56, low of 36. Rain and wind at 100% with winds going southwest at 21 miles per hour. <laughs> and that's a blackjack. Cut it out with the poker metaphors. You know, blackjack metaphors. Now you're confused me. Just continue the weather, man. All right, party pooper. <laughs> so on Friday. <laughs> Start of the windy weekend, baby! Cause it's gonna be a high of 49, low of 33, partly cloudy skies with high winds going west, northwest, at 20 miles per hour. And on Saturday, ah, the wind starts to ease up. Cause it's gonna be a high of 54. Low of 35, partly cloudy skies with winds going northwest at 12 miles per hour. And on Sunday, not a sunny day at all. Cause it's gonna be a high of 62, low of 49, mostly cloudy skies with winds going south, southeast at 10 miles per hour. And now you know, and I've got to go, because I am Dan the Wonder Man Stu and I am through for the weather broadcast for this week. <laughs> 
And now back to the man who's holding a piece of cardboard that I fooled him with in his hand. DJ Smokey for the Tuesday Night Special. <laughs> yeah! Okay, Dan the Little Man Stu. How in the world were you able to pull this off? Because I'm pretty sure that safe was empty when the maestro checked it. Maestro. Are you serious? Were you in on this? You knew about this, didn't you? As a matter of fact, DJ Smokey, he did! <laughs> Even though it was the 31st, it was the first in other countries! <laughs> that were in different time zones! So the prank was good! Oh, the prank was good, huh? Yeah, the prank was good. Maestro, give me that cardboard back. I'm gonna go get him. Excuse me. Whoa, wait, whoa. That would hit me with the cardboard. Get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Damn, the one of man's do out. Oh. <laughs> See, and that's what you get for trying to fool me to think that we lost the summer budget for this year. Are you serious? <sighs> well... That just helped me get rid of a week of aggression, folks. So, to finally calm down and enhance my calm like Judge Dredd would in that said movie, even though technically he wasn't Judge Dredd, but he was wearing the Judge Dredd-like outfit, so technicalities, folks, I think it's time for us to head back to the music, and when we return, we'll be back with another edition of the Indie Report right after this. So don't go watching those infomercials just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 